baby ai has taken the world by storm like it's an understatement to say that people who love ai do not know about baby ai but what if you can combine baby ai probably promote baby ai into toddler ai or teen ai by giving it powers from lang chain you know that lang chain is one of the go to libraries for anybody who deals with large language models and lang chain has got a lot of agents so what if what if we could connect baby ai with lang chain agents so that baby ai for example can browse internet and get things done without using only large language model and that's exactly what we are going to see in this video how to combine baby ai with lang chain agents and it's not a code that i have written it's a code that lang chain team has already put together out so you can literally go there and then see everything but i'm going to give you a step by step walk through of what to do how to run this entire thing to start with the first thing that you need to do is let me show you the demo first so if you see i had asked baby agi to give a current weather report in bangalore and baby agi in this case using serp api so it's a search engine api i figured out that uh, the current weather is 93 fahrenheit so i am I'm, i'm not like very sure about the fahrenheit actually okay possible danger of dehydration heat stroke oh my goodness it's actually it's actually quite hot in bangalore so and again you know it gave the final thought and then the final answer so the current weather in bangalore is this and then it is giving the list of list of tasks that it is supposed to do so uh, i have given only three iterations because i don't know the run out of my api token but you can see that it is it has completed the task without hallucinating like unlike you go to chat gpt and ask chat gpt about bangalore weather it would probably give you information from 2021 we don't want that we want today's weather and that is possible because we have lang chain tools that can get current internet information so if you want to do something like this so i'm going to show you step by step how to do this thing like i said full credits to the lang chain team for putting together this notebook the main three libraries that you need to first install is lang chain open ai and tik token which is which is actually a dependency but you can also see that we are installing two other libraries which i'll add here so we are going to install five libraries if you are going to use this google collab you need five libraries lang chain open ai tik token face cpu google search results now face is for the vector store for example if you are going to use something like pine cone or vwhite you don't need face face is completely open uh, open source uh, it's from facebook it could be run from wherever machine that you are running it so that's why we are using it no need of api no need of any external dependency so if you want to stick with face completely fine google search result is a serp api which we are going to use to call google search programmatically from python so that's what it is open ai is for open ai authentication lang chain is of course for lang chain i think tik token um, is probably uh, i i guess it's a tokenizer from uh, open ai if i'm not wrong so now we are going to import a bunch of um, um, libraries um, and the most important thing like if you want to run this code on your machine the most important thing that you need to do is after you install all the libraries you need to set two tokens the first token is from open ai click this link platform.openai.com you can go get the open ai token the a lot of people have been commenting to me saying that you know i reach the memory limit so if you register for open ai for the first time you get i think 5 dollars or 18 dollars somewhere around that for the first time which you have to finish it in 3 months if you have not finished it in 3 months it's going to expire and uh, which means then you have to actually put your credit card and then get the token in itself so that's one thing to keep in mind you need to have active credit inside your open ai account for this to work one if you do not even have gpt4 access this will work but thanks to michael from twitter i got gpt4 access like one of the subscriber kindly volunteered to give their gpt4 uh, key to me so that i could use it so that's the open ai key the second key that we want is serp api so serp like i said serpapi.com is a place where we you can go and then programmatically call google search and all you have to do is register with your email id phone number and get the api token and add it here so two api tokens are required at this point you have kind of set up your uh, you have imported required libraries you have set up your environment variables the next thing that you need to do is you need to install the vector store or set up the vector store like i said in our case we are going with face so we don't we are not using pine cone or vwhite so if you want you can use them as well but i've gone ahead with face so i'm we have already installed this library but it's a separate step to say what are we actually doing here once that is done now you need to import langchain.vectorstores.face import face and we have already imported face so you can see that right now 
uh, all the imports are completed. So we have already imported all the lang chain related imports like opening embedding, opening prompt template and all these things are done. And then we have also imported or uh, imported the vector library, vector store related stuff. Now we are going to define our embeddings. In this case, it's an open AI embedding. And also we are going to initialize our vector store, which is not going to have any content unless until we are going to run this baby AGI, which is going to add content to that. If you had forgotten baby AGI, uh, a quick reminder is that baby AGI is a system where it can do a bunch of things. It has got three primary agents, task creation agent, prioritization agent, and execution agent, execution agent, creation agent, prioritization agent. So you give a goal, baby AGI can execute all these things for you. And it uses the vector store memory to store and retrieve memory. That's why we are using vector store here. In, in fact, like the original baby AGI, you would have seen pine cone there, but we are using FICE here. So if you are not familiar, I'll link the baby AGI repository in um, YouTube description. You can check it out. It's a, it's a, it's a fascinating autonomous AI project. Now getting back to our code, now is the place where we are going to define the baby AJ's chains. Like baby AJ, like I said, it has got three chains. One is a task creation chain, task prioritization chain and execution chain. What does a task creation chain do? It creates new task and adds it to the to-do list. Prioritization chain reprioritizes the task and execution chain actually executes it. And that's where we are going to use the lang chain tools to do execution here rather than simply relying on large language model like ChatGPT. So for example, you are asking about what are the nearby places to eat or what are the places to eat in Bangalore? It doesn't have to be a memory from 2021 to give you that information. Rather, it could be the most recent information that Google can give you because Google is more efficient in that rather than chat GPT. And that's where we are going to swap the large language model part from execution chain to SERP API. I'll tell you the code. So now I'm not going to get into the details of this code. Uh, every chain has got its own details. So this is uh, the prompt template will actually give the guidance about what that large language model is supposed to do in that case. But when we go there, we have already finished a creation chain. We have create finished prioritization chain. And this is the main part where we are going to look at the execution chain. And when you see that, and that is where we have the SERP API wrapper. This is a tool um, from Langchain. So the Langchain has got SERP API wrapper. Langchain also has got a lot of tools. It's quite interesting if you go to agents. And if you go to tools, you can see that Langchain has got a lot of tools. Like you can access Python Ripple, you can access Wikipedia, Wolfram Alpha, you can access Google search, you can access a lot of things. So imagine like the kind of things that you can do. In fact, like you can access HTTP requests. You can almost access anything that you want in the world if you have API access. So that's what Langchain tools can provide you. But in this example, we are using one of the tools, which is SERP API and uh, it's a search. So we are going to get like we are saying that you are a planner who is an expert at coming up with a to do list, come up with a to do list for the given objective. And then from that uh, to do chain, we are going to um, call the use search to cal get that information. Like if it is, uh, you know, any current information related, we are going to use that and uh, we are going to see. So this is this is our tool section. So the tool that we are going to use is this. Now is where we are going to define the baby AGI uh, a controller. So this is going to define how the execution is going to happen between all the chains, the, the next task prioritization task and all these things. The final place is where you have got the baby AGI class where you're going to give everything, add everything that you have defined before the task list, the creation chain, the prioritization chain, the execution chain, task ID counter, the vector store, maximum number of iterations, maximum number of iteration is quite important. Um, for you to define how many times it wants to, it's like number of retries it is going to do. And uh, it is also going to have an impact in your API token cost. So if you do not, if you are just do doing it for hobby purpose, you do not want to exceed your API token, which is something that a lot of people had complained in the past. Then I would say the start with max iteration, like something like one, where inside the section called run the baby AGA, you have to define an objective. So I can say, write a weather report for Bangalore today. You need to remember that everything that I'm writing, it is getting added to the existing same memory. So that's something for you to keep in mind. I can go ahead and then say, write a weather report for Bangalore today. And it is going to help me write a weather report for Bangalore today. And uh, after you have the objective, you call open AI as an LLM. Uh, temperature zero is usually preferred because you don't want the large language model to hallucinate a lot. So you are, uh, or be creative a lot. So you are reducing the temperature to the minimum level so that, um, 
it it doesn't hallucinate a lot so that's that's where you are initiating your llm and uh, do you want it to be verbose whether logging no and uh, the max iteration is what i just said keep it small like one if you don't want to or if you want to just try whether the code is working then start increasing the max iterations and then it's quite simple all you have to do is baby aga object like how are you calling it baby aga dot from llm llm vector store verbose max iterations all these values and then you are going to call baby aga with objective where the objective is whatever that objective that you have given right a weather report for bangalore today could be one of the objectives it could be anything like for example be an ipl cricket reporter of reporter of the most recent match so ipl is stands for indian premier league it's a cricket tournament that happens in india so i'm just saying uh, just like if for people who watch in the future that just for you to know that i'm actually you know accessing internet and uh, this is information so objective i'm going to run the objective run llm ideally you have to run all the cells like assuming that i have run all the cells then the next one then i'm going to call this and at this point i'm going to call the objective so when you do this thing baby aga is going to start executing the objective that you have given and the task it's going to start let's see so make a to do list and the to do list is a b an ipl cricket reporter for i should have said for the most recent match my bad so the observation research the teams playing in the most recent ipl match watch the match and take notes key moments interview players and coaches for both the teams write a report publish the report promote on social media follow up with feedback that's quite a good set of list i can literally hire an intern and give this to the list but then now baby agi has picked up one of the items and the item that it is okay final answer to do list it is picking up the item um, it's checking all the information it's uh, looking into other information so the final answer is to analyze the match statistics identify key moments by gathering match statistics from all the relevant information organizing data into a spreadsheet and it has all the information so anyways i have uh, capped it maximum iteration to 3 so i don't think you might actually see the final report in itself but you get the idea of how this entire thing works so the way this entire thing would work is baby you give a goal or an objective to baby aga and baby aga is going to go ahead and then execute that goal for you come up with the list of tasks um prioritize the task execute the task and uh, previously whenever we talked about execution the execution was only limited to large language model what can chat gpt do was the boundary of the task but when we have successfully connected with the lang chain agent we have uh, literally uh, expanded the list like what all things that it can do because you can for example let's say you want to write something on google sheets um, so you can literally call zapier api here and then call you know write something on google sheet or let's say you want to send a notification to an android application now you can use ifttt if this then that you i mean like honestly speaking you have like a huge potential of things that you can do because now you have like literally swapped the large language model from the execution chain and put a lang chain agent uh, access uh, which means you have got access to the huge set of chains so finally it has given the timeline of match can be created by gathering information and you know it, it gives all the task the point here is that not what it has given but what it can do what we have not explored so i hope this video helped you in understanding what baby agi can do when you combine with lang chain agent and i wanted it to be pretty hands on not like explaining the concept that's why i took you uh, throughout the code so i'll quickly summarize the code for you if you take this google collab notebook all you have to do is click the google collab notebook you can right away access it install the libraries then uh, have your api key ready one open ai api key second serp api key serp api key is required if you want to use serp um, serp api which means you need to access google as part of your tool set but if you do not want that you do not need that you can make the change then initialize your vector store and after you initialize the vector store and also your open ai embedding then uh, create the chains you don't have to make any change here literally until you know you want to play with the prompts so you have a creation chain you have the prioritization chain and the final execution chain has the tools that we wanted to use and then you have the uh, the chains are getting composed uh, and finally you are going to have the baby aga class and then you are going to call the uh, run the baby aga with an objective uh, initiating the open ai api or ea open ai model here and then finally you are running the baby aj with the objective it is going to do the tasks for you and come up with the result 
that can help you connect baby aga with internet with python with uh, apis almost like anything that you name you can do it thanks to langchain integration please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions otherwise i hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in exploring the potential of baby aga baby aga fans thank you so much see you in another video